Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. Laura Wooten from Mercer County is a legend. For 71 straight years, she worked the polls on Election Day, dating all the way back to 1939 when Franklin Delano Roosevelt was president. Governor Phil Murphy recently honored Laura by signing Laura Wooten's bill into law, a bill that requires civics be taught in every New Jersey classroom. Laura Wooten died two years ago, but her daughter, Yvonne Hill, is proud to tell us about her legacy. What was your reaction when you heard that the civics bill was going to be named after your mom? I was extremely, extremely excited. I mean, I thought it was going to be such a fantastic honor. And uh, I, I, I don't know how, other, how else to describe it other than I was just elated. I understand it is an incredible tribute and appropriate considering what your mom has done. Tell people a little bit about your mo- what, what your mom did and, and why a bill that requires civics be taught be named after her. Okay, well, my mom, was born in 1920. She actually graduated from Princeton High School in 1939. And during that time, she was recruited to work the polls by her great uncle Anderson Mittenall, who was actually running as Justice of the Peace for the Princeton Mercer area. So my mom started working the polls in 1939, and she continued working the polls for 79 consecutive years. She never missed a year. And why? Did she ever talk to you about it? Why she thought that was important? Well, in a, I, I know exactly what year it was. It was 2008. A friend and I were having a discussion about voter apathy and young people voting, et cetera, et cetera. And I happened to casually mention, oh, my mom's been working the polls for about 40 years. And he was so impressed. He says, oh, my goodness, really? Why does she do that? So that evening when I called my mom and I told her I'd had a discussion about her and I said, yeah, and I told my friend, you worked the polls for 40 years. And she said to me, where'd you get that number? I'm like, well, well, I don't know. When we were little, little kids, I remember you getting up in the middle of the night and when you came back, it was night again. And later on, I learned you were going to the polls. So I thought 40 sounded like a long time. And she says, well, let me tell you the story. She says, I was working the polls before you kids, as she called us, were even born. And at the time, my oldest sister was about 70 years old. And I said, oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. You've been working the polls for that long? So instantly, I knew it was had to be some kind of record, either local, nationally, or whatever. But um, I said to her, well, he wanted to know, why do you do this? And she said, because voting is important. And that was her answer. No, and God bless her. I mean, we're going through so much consternation in this country about voting laws and about voting and and when polls should be open and if people should be mailed ballots. It yeah. sounds like no matter what the rules were, your mom voted, knew where to vote, and 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 served this country and the state very well. What would she think about all of this? Oh my gosh, I know she would be super honored and excited, but at the same time, one of her standard responses, and I will use that now, would be, I don't understand what the what the fuss is about. I was just doing my civic duty. Yeah, I, wish, I wish there was more that were like her. I guess I guess that would be the legacy, right? If if this bill teaches others to do what your mother just did naturally and knew was important. Absolutely, because she was not looking or expecting any kind of recognition or honor. She just did it. And um, as a matter of fact, when I found out, you know, I, well, I knew it had to be a record, and she started getting recognition, you know, by various uh, groups, organizations, the governor's office, et cetera. Um, and we would go to different places where they were presented with a proclamation or an award. And she would say, I don't understand. Why do they want my picture? I mean, uh, I, don't, I don't get it. Why, why are they not taking your picture? And I say, hey, listen, lady, I didn't make history. 
Nobody tells you to walk off of 14 Witherspoon Lane, where we lived all those years, and walk into history. And she just kind of chuckled, you know. But uh, she would just be so super excited because one of the things she always said to me was that young people need to get more involved in the process. And young people need to start working the polls because over the years, as you can well imagine, 79 years, she saw a lot of people, um, you know, that worked the polls with her get sick, get ill, couldn't come to the polls anymore or pass away. So she watched that. And so that was a big thing with her about young people getting involved. How about you? Are you working, are you working the polls now? I am working the polls now. And as a matter of fact, when I first found out about her record, I did work the polls for a few years. And I'll be honest with you, I said, oh my gosh, I can't do this. I don't know how my mom did this for 79 years. Because they're long days. You're getting up in the middle of the night and you're coming back home again. It's night again. And so I took a long break. But most recently, after my mom's passing, I said to carry on her legacy, I need to start working the polls again. So that's what I've been doing. And as I work the polls, you probably can't see it. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but I have this little badge I made, you know, that I wear when I go work the polls so that my mom is there with me in spirit and, uh, you know, carrying on her legacy. And I know right now you're wearing her scarf in honor of her and you wear the badge and you're carrying on her legacy. The state's going to carry on her legacy right now. Every child in New Jersey that goes to public schools is going to, to learn about your mom. Did the governor call you? Well, I haven't talked to the governor directly, but over the years when my mom was getting these different awards, I have a, oh, three or four pictures of my mom with the governor. You know, we go to different events and uh, she'd take a picture with the governor. So he's well aware of my mom and the legacy. And as a matter of fact, when she passed away, he sent her a really very, very nice tweet, you know, commemorating her service and everything that she's done. And of course, during the bill signing, I was actually on the Zoom with the governor and the other uh, representatives that were very responsible for getting this bill passed. Well, I can't imagine how proud you must be and how proud you were of your mother all throughout her lifetime, especially when you found out how long she had been working the polls. And now all of New Jersey knows about her and will be proud of her. And so congratulations on that. And thank you so much for talking. To and, and thank you very much. And can I just tell a really quick story? I don't know how much time I have. But in 2017, uh, my mother's baby brother, who happened to be 90, but he was the last of her siblings, passed away the day before election. And so my mom thought, well, I, I, I'm really, you know, depressed. I, I'm not going to work the polls the next day. So she called and canceled her 4 a.m. ride. And she also called the office to let them know that she would not be coming in. Well, but she left the message. But if you need me, let me know. Well, the election office called back and said, yes, we need you. We use you. So at 4 o'clock a.m., she tried to get a ride, called some taxi services, nobody answered. So my mom actually walked from her home to the voting poll location, which was the Lawrenceville Fire Station. So at 4 something in the morning, pitch black, my mom walked to the polls. And she was well into her 70s at that point. Oh, but no, she was 90. She was 90, let's see, that was 2007. So she was about... Uh, 97 years old, almost 97. A month later, she would have been 97. Wow. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that. I'm glad, I'm glad we got that in. And thanks again for talking with us. Thank you so much. Yvonne Hill, daughter of New Jersey legend, Laura Wooten, next on Jersey Matters. Pet adoptions increased quite a bit during the pandemic. Now a new trend is emerging, animal surrenders. I'm Sherry Carabin, and coming up on Jersey Matters, I'll have that story.